Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm Crypto Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So in this video, we are going to have a quick look at Caspa, see what's going on with the price action right now. Are we going to see it bounce back or are we going to see a further decline? We're going to answer that in this video before we get into it though. Smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more cryptocurrency news and information and all that good stuff. Hopefully I bring you guys some value. And if I do, make sure you comment down below. What do you like me covering? What tokens do you like to see on this channel? Um, I'm definitely taking uh, advice from you guys because you guys are the ones that basically drive this channel, right? So uh, let me know down below. So Caspa is in a price correction right now, trending downwards again after exhibiting potential for recovery over the past couple of days. This time, however, the correction could extend and which would be a little bit further. We're going to look at the price levels that we're looking at as well. So just stay tuned. Uh, following a 10% correction in Caspa price in the last 24 hours, many long contracts witnessed liquidation. We saw 404 million worth of long liquidations have been uh, recorded. So the price indicators are not supportive of a rally. So it's doubts that those those uh, liquidations would uh, would basically resubmit their uh, their positions. So the RSI is also showing under the neutral line marked at 50 after failing to breach and flip it into support. So things are not looking really great. I mean, the overall macro look right now is about the same. Uh, crypto is declining. Bitcoin has uh, fallen as well. And we're going to look at that as well. Just give me just a moment here of your time. I'm going to let you guys know what the support levels we're looking at. So after failing to break through, uh, resistance of 14 and a half cents by the looks of it caspa is going to halt its decline after tagging 11.7 cents so it could fall to the next crucial support level of 10.3 cents if it doesn't hold the 11 7 uh, support this would result in a 17 percent fall for caspa and i mean we knew this was coming guys we knew that uh, we were going to have a pullback before the halving it, there always is one the, the technicals are there the history shows it um, it's something that always seems to happen. So on the other hand, if Caspa's price can bounce back from the 11.7 cent <clears throat> support level, it could attempt another breach of 14.5. And this would also enable the cryptocurrency to reclaim the 50 and 100 day exponential moving averages, likely invalidating the bearish thesis. So that means it would not drop down <clears throat> to the next support level. So just a quick word from my, our, our channel sponsor for today. Um, so I am involved with Fourth Star. Fourth Star is a gaming VR metaverse play. Uh, they are in pre-sale right now. They also had this. This is really really cool. So they call this the Diamond Hand Wallet holders of the of the FSTR token, and uh, they are pledging to lock up voluntarily to lock up their tokens for around six to twelve month time frame. Um, so that is their minimum pledge period of six to twelve months. Percentage of airdrop held by Diamond Hands is seventy one percent. So those big whales are going to be locking up their tokens because they believe in this project. Obviously, I want you guys to do your own due diligence, but I will put a link in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out. You can certainly um, uh, look into Fourth Star. You can purchase through my link as well. You get it for 20 cents on the dollar, and uh, it's always going to be worth one dollar on the platform. So if you go out and you want to buy a spaceship or you want to buy a high-end luxury apartment or anything like that, it will always be worth one dollar. So Caspa price today, let's go over and have a look here. <clears throat> We're sitting at 13.1 cents. Um, so we are still down. We're about, down about 5.2% over the last seven days. And the overall cryptocurrency market is down about 5% as well. So we're uh, we're kind of right there with it. Bitcoin is hovering just under 66K. And uh, things are looking, you know, we, like we knew this was going to happen. Like I mentioned, it's it's inevitable. The, the uh the pullback before Bitcoin having presents opportunity, in my opinion. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm looking at buying this week. So hopefully uh, I hit some of those price targets that I'm looking for. And I'm going to add to some of my altcoins. That's what I got for you guys in this video. I just want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.